I'm an analyst in the Army trying to get more information about the current state of our Abrams tanks, specifically for the 1st Cav Division. Now, I've pulled up our Mission Readiness app that combines data from several DoD and Army systems so I can get a common operating picture for the information that's important to me. So on my equipment dashboard, I can see the on-hand quantity of all of our equipment and how much of that equipment is fully mission capable. I can also see where the equipment is located, and below I can get details on the equipment. Now, I could select on the map or use any of my drop-downs to filter my data, but I'll just use a global smart search to go after exactly what I'm looking for, which, again, is Abrams tanks in the 1st Cav Division. Right at the top of my Google-like search, I can see exactly what I was interested in. And now I can see that we have 260 Abrams tanks on hand, and the fact that 81% of them are fully mission capable. Now obviously, we're always shooting for 100%. I'll use the details below to see what's happening here. Now I want to know what's going on with the tanks for the 4th Squadron 9th Cavalry Regiment, which has the lowest percentage of tanks that are ready to fight. Now I can see that there are seven serial numbers that are down, and I can also see why they're down. We have tanks that are down because we have a fire extinguisher, and I can see what parts are in order as well. Now I can see where those parts are in the supply chain. Using Click, we were able to go from analyzing over 5 million pieces of equipment down to just seven that needed our attention in a matter of seconds. So in a proof of concept exercise, we showed the Army they potentially had parts that had been collecting dust on the shelves for over eight months, which represents an incredible opportunity for them to improve their readiness numbers by simply putting those parts on the tank and getting them up and running. So this gives me a very specific insight into individual tanks, but I may not be able to wait for parts, so I might want to know where all of our Abrams tanks are located throughout the country. Now I can see where all my tanks are located so that if I need to pull tanks from those bases, I can do that. It looks like we have a healthy quantity of tanks located in Fort Benning. I hope this gives you a much better insight into how you can use Click to gather data from multiple logistics data sources, quickly drill down into problem areas, and take action to improve your numbers.